welcome back to the channel and welcome back to missing person case monday and thanks for tuning in to the milk carton series if you guys do not know what that means it basically means like back in the day when everyone used to go missing they would be on milk cartons so me and a friend thought of this and it was really great shout out to my girl felicia for helping me with this name and it's just truly has transpired overall and i'm really excited to keep pushing this type of content on my channel and many other platforms so before we begin i just want to say don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to check out my actual instagram and facebook because even if i don't post a missing person case on here of that of another individual i do constantly post different other missing person cases as time goes on because i mean people go missing literally every second of the day so it's kind of hard to just do a video and put that on there so what i do is if i see something i automatically upload it on there it's really cute how i do it as well to grab your attention as the viewer and my audience so again it's the milk carton series and i hope to see you guys over there so today guys we're going to be talking about 22 year old tony turner tony went missing on december 30th of 2019 and she has not been seen since so let's talk about her disappearance a little bit guys and like always let's send love and light to the family in this time of need tony is listed as 5'2", weighing 130 pounds with black hair, brown eyes. He was last seen at a place called Deborah's Tea in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. That was the last whereabouts of her. And as it was stated in an article that I had read, some of her belongings were found literally down the street from where she was last seen at. It's because I wanted to make sure I read this right. Tony was a full-time metal fabricator at Sutter Baker Metals in Braddock, PA. This is where she was currently working. So like I stated before, her belongings were found. A young man ended up finding her pocketbook and this is why her family believes that. Family believes she may have traveled down Interstate 80 because um, like I said previously, her belongings were found and in there were her cell phone, her in her purse, her cell phone was still in there, her keys, her wallet, and this young man turned over her pocketbook to the authority. Her family describes her as a really vibrant young lady, caring, giving, and just a fun, full of life individual. So it's really sad when you have your loved one go missing. I mean, anyone going missing is truly sad. Her family has been going door to door to see if maybe someone has seen her. They also have raised over $8,000 to help fund the search because as you guys know, these things really cost money. That's why it's very important and imperative that we share their stories and talk about their stories to help them along the way because just one thing can truly turn a case around so i'm on um her i believe it's her sister's page her name oh it's so funny her she spells her name same way as my daughter sydney turner and i wanted to read what her sister has posted on her social media she says thank you all for what you do please consider this in your search of tony dear friends please know that we are searching for a symmetric object in a pair of shoes connected to Tony's disappearance. The items were last seen on Homestead Graves Bridge at around 8.30 p.m. Monday, December 30th. They are believed to have been removed from the bridge on Monday night or Tuesday morning. If you were on the bridge Monday night or Tuesday morning and you saw a pair of shoes or a symmetric vase jar or anything similar, please let us and the detectives know. We are seeking an accurate description of these items as well as clues to their current whereabouts. That is pretty much all of Tony Turner's disappearance at the moment. I will keep you guys updated as everything unfolds like I do all the other cases. Really sending her family love and light and really hoping that Tony turns up safe and sound. So guys, until the next Missing Person Case Monday, I will see you.